got it. Oh, I love your shirt, Rob. Wahoo. Wahoo. <laughs> Thank you. Hmm. Hey, Allison, if you have your quiz ready. We can do it. <laughs> I think I literally heard crickets. Yeah, that's the cricket. I love that. <laughs> the actual cricket. I don't see her jumping. I do. Oh, here. Oh, I'm sorry. Saying, I made a mistake about schedule, so so I didn't oh. prepare the homework yet. Sorry. Okay. When you say yet, <laughs> does that mean you're working on it right now? <laughs> or uh, I think maybe we'll have to skip it. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, we're gonna... That's okay. She has guys. a class tomorrow. She could give us two quizzes. Oh, Lord. Good luck. Uh, or just <laughs> one the, between you and the boss. I, I, uh, I salute you for making this error. I constantly think I'm about to have this happen to me. So <laughs> if it happens to someone else before me, I, I, I find it helpful. I won't feel so bad when it happens. Oh, to me. oh good. You should pin me talking about this. I think that's important. <laughs> it's like that dream where. <laughs> You can, you're about to graduate from high school, but then you can't find your math classroom or something to go take the final. That's right. Then you show up to class naked. Yeah. Well, that's weird. That's, I don't know. This is... <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, Vanaya, right. Huh. I, I'm just curious. Paul, you said something that there. she has a class tomorrow. I don't see that on there. No, she has uh, a yeah. class She's like, the second. Laughing. Tomorrow, oh. second class. Oh, 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 on the Saturday. Okay. Oh, sorry. Day after tomorrow. No, right. Yeah. Good, good. Great. Okay, cool. It's weird. Both she and I thought we are off duty today. And then we find out at the same time that we're not. <laughs> oh, like when you looked at the schedule? Yep. Uh, a minute ago. <laughs> Art, but, oh, right. Both of us saw it's not today. Sorry. But Stanley, you are off duty today, I believe, right? Well, yeah, but I kind of, you know, see if she's okay. on, I'm on. And <laughs> so. Does that mean you don't have a homework shopping? You always end with, and that was the homework. <laughs> yeah right yeah Thank thanks you. for the homework Great i'll turn it over homework the shopping. Thank yeah, you. And then, oh. yeah, that was good gosh i was I so never much. learned I so like much really ever. In the end. that's how a bill becomes a law <laughs> I, got really, I got really close to emptiness on that one um, All right. okay grandpa has to start work i understand um, okay no meal when tea. It happens to everybody. Mm -hmm. I'll prepare to for the next class. <laughs> yeah, two homeworks. <laughs> okay. Uh, I, I'm looking at Mr. Haggerty right now. You ready? Yeah. 
Oh, wait, let me get you a cursor. Hang on. Okay. Shopping, wake up. Okay, sorry, I'm moving up, please. Okay. Now what, Tang, Mina, Wei? Get long, sorry. Get long chop core, Shen La Chin Du Chupa Tang. Yeah. Uh, this is a weird one, and it took me a long time. Mm, now I mean, uh, do you guys know? Uh, illness. Yeah, someone who's sick. Okay, sorry. Huh. Hang on. Uh, and someone who's not sick, a monk. And sorry. <laughs> yes. Um. <laughs> Gelong, uh, uh, this is a funny one. I'm going to read you the, uh, the commentary here. Chugu Jin Chik Che. Hey, you're going to die anyway. Uh, <laughs> you know, uh, let, we're not, shouldn't throw out your robes. Why don't you give your robes to somebody else? Okay. And uh, you never know when you might die. Uh, mm. So it's kind of doesn't help the patient to get better, right? Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so Nawe means that uh, he's sick. Uh, Minawa could mean, for example, I, I heard they're going to kick you out of the monastery, you know. Let's decide today who you're going to give your robes to. Like that. And, uh, it's just kind of a negative way to to think about your robes, right? Jindu chukpa means, what's that chukpa, you guys? Impel or you know, get yeah. somebody to be like yeah. that. To get somebody to give their robes to somebody else, okay? Uh, well, who is that? Uh, whether it's a sick person or a not a sick person, okay? All right, it sounds like Las Vegas. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Rob Hagrid, you're still there. Right. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, that's the same thing, shopping. What's that mean? Uh, when you are sick, uh, how to do with yeah. your rope? Yeah, the robes of the sick person. Uh, oh. Either you gave it to the whole Sangha, you know, mm. you gave it back to the monastery and said, this is for anybody who needs it. Or mm. you gave it to a particular individual, Kansak. Kyangrung mm. doesn't matter which one. Uh, you, and if you don't think, let's go to the end, okay? Uh, if you take the robes, Balangspa, okay? If you take the robes, what's the present tense here? Lempa. Yeah, if you take the robes uh, without thinking in your mind, okay? Shock here means without setting a motivation, okay? Shock. If you, without setting a motivation that uh, if this guy, Ne su, which is similar to the so and so jong. What's that mean? Tries to fix uh, heals, gets better. Ne su. Yeah, good. Nick, you're on a roll today. If the you must have got some. Uh, if the guy gets better, uh, this lar means back to him. So what's that mean? Given the rope, you don't. If you don't get, if you don't think to yourself that you'll give the robes back if he gets better. Good. Uh, then you built oh, this bro. this suggestion. <laughs> okay. Oh, uh, they anyway. don't dare. Go ahead, shopping. Oh, you mean if you get better, then you break the yeah, promise? No, if you uh, take his robes and yeah. give them, because it looks like he's going to die for sure this week. Yeah. And uh, you give it to the Sangha or you give it to somebody individual. Mm -hmm. And uh, you don't think in your mind, if he gets better, I'll give him the robes back. If you don't oh. think that, you, 
you broke this commitment. Yeah. Oh, I see. Okay, good. Uh, Is the sick person like aware? Are they yeah, just like- it says uh, in some cases the commentary says he's kind of you you kind of convinced him mm. that he's gonna die soon, and it's not very positive for his healing. Or you see, okay, uh, okay, Doctor Haggerty, one more. All right, Karaki Chikle. Kalaki chik le lak pa ma kang a chang par kong du ng jogwa na chong du chong du chong du ng jogwa nam so. Yeah, uh, I'll show it to you in the next class. The, the way you keep your monk's robe up, the skirt, is you have a very long piece of uh, you have a belt. It's called karak. Okay. Oh, yeah. The belt is called a karak, and it's it's longer than than my arms. It's very long, and then you have to wrap it around uh, twice, and then you have to wrap the the belt uh, twice, and then you have to wrap it under itself like three four times. Uh, in the first few weeks, there you, your rubs always falling down. Uh, there's a trick to tie it. So chi cheek means uh, if you only go around one time on your waist with the belt, uh, <laughs> and not more. And then you, <laughs> then you go to the tongue, Nick. What that mean? <laughs> go to the city, the town. I guess. Yeah, you go to the city and your robes fall down. Sakpa majang. Majang means you don't wear. Okay, you don't wear your belt with more than one wrap around your waist. And then you go to the city like that, there's gonna be some danger. Then it, then you have to make sure your, your underwear is clean. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> All right, hey, guess what? We're out of the clothing. We're out of number six. Now we're going to number seven, just to remind you What's number seven? Kopakishi. Say kopakishi. Kopakishi. What's kopak? Koa. Leather. Yeah, koa means a piece of leather. A word for 20 bucks. What's deba shung send? Deba shung send? Deba shung. What's this deba shung send? Send. Uh, you're never going to get it. Uh, a leather cor- coracle, a leather raft, a, a, a little rather leather boat made from the skin of a yak. It fits <laughs> like one or two people. It's also called a koa. So leather is called koa, and a leather little boat is called a koa. Okay, and. Uh, when the Sangbo River overflows in Plaza, then the government, one of the government's few duties is to send out uh, little boats to pick people up who got swept away. Whoa. You know what I mean? And it became a famous thing in the monastery. Mm-hmm. Uh, looks like the government sent the boats out. Uh, when the septic system overflows, <laughs> Okay, these little brown boats got you understand what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> you know the show. Monks can't make sex jokes, so they always make poo-poo jokes. Okay. Oh, that's so, why. Okay. They say, oh, the, the government sent the, the raft out. All right, so now you're never gonna forget koa. Pak means skin, right? Kopak means uh, leather. Like what are the rules about using leather? Okay. And this is uh, Vastu number seven. Uh, please read, and Uncle Nick wants to check you. Kopaki shi ne chung we nia cha ni. Nia cha. Nia cha. Yeah, minor mistakes that relate to the Vastu, the category of using leather. Okay. And here's the first one. Nick, you're going to do three, okay? Uh, sure. You da, um, cock to cheer lamb. 
This is an active form of the verb that we see with Dorje Cham. What's that mean? Raja Dara. Uh-huh. Hold. Hold, to hold, yeah. Chang means to hold. And it also means to wear an article of clothing. Um, what's a taco? The barbarian lands. Yeah, so you are not in central India. Let's say you're up in the Himalaya mountains, okay? You'll talk about, uh, and you should be wearing Chang uh, Chilham. Uh, chil here means, Chilham means here a leather shoe, oh. okay? Uh, but you don't. Okay, you, don't you keep wearing sand, sandals. And uh, in, in, in my monastery, we're in southern India, everybody wears sandals. Uh, and then when they go home to see their, friend, their parents in the Himalayas, they always get sick because uh, they don't have any other shoes. You see what I mean? Uh, also, so here is to protect them. Yeah, if the weather really is cold and uh, and you're walking around in rocky mountains, uh, oh. you are required to wear leather shoes and not sandals. Okay, there's a retreat center in southern Arizona. It has snakes, and uh, there's a rule there that you can't wear sandals. And uh, I believe the whole staff is wearing sandals. <laughs> and I had to take one of them to the hospital and that's not fun uh and uh they don't listen okay nick this is what it is to be a dad oh we should it wasn't me you. oh yeah <laughs> oh, well, no it's nobody here it's nobody here this is the new generation you guys all right let's read it do chupa soki ze cheer lame sala What's lakpa dub mean, you guys? Lakpa dub. Hold it in your hand. It means to clap your hands, okay? Uh, Oh, look, the people liked his talk. They they lakpa dub. Here it means your soles of your feet, okay? Uh, When it's a very dusty, uh, when the ground is very dusty with loose dust, okay, dul chukpa, uh, you should be careful not to like bang, 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 bang your feet, uh, especially when you're walking through a group of like debaters or something, and it's gonna put dust on everybody's head or something like that. Okay, wow. how to use your shoes. Wow, so detailed. Yeah, remember next time you're in Sedona. Okay. <laughs> The next one I really irritates me. Please read, Nick. You're still going. Okay. Yeah, good. Yeah, Dra uh, Jimba is related to the verb to give, right? Jimba, but it means to emit a sound, to release a sound, to give a sound, okay? Uh, so to make a sound, okay? And when you're walking, like through the monastery temple, if you have shoes with hard heels on them, especially ladies with long, what do you call it? High heels. And it goes, tukung, 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 okay? Uh, I went to uh, visit, my wife is Christian, we went to see her church and uh, everybody was very quiet and then one lady's like, ka-dunk, 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 you know, down the hole, you know, for 10 minutes, she's walking around like that. So it means, tok tok means to make a sound like dung, 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 okay? Tok, it's called tok tok. Sometimes it's spelled with a K-R, okay, tok tok. All right, so don't talk talk when you walk if you do wear leather, leather shoes. By the way, there's a very irritating noise that young monks make with their sandals also on purpose. Cut your back, cut your back, cut your back, cut your back. <laughs> All right, uh, who's your I next? I think every child? kid does that. Yeah, Amelie does, does that. that. Yeah. Amelie does that. Uh, Stanley, you want to check this lady? Let's do three together, okay? <laughs> hey. 
Yeah, you guys know this word in the mandala. Gegmama, Tawama, Luma, Kardama, Metoma, Dipima. So geg means to strike a pose, like a fashion model. Lady posing lovely. So geg means to wear some fancy clothes and kind of look, you know, like you're special. Okay, like you're a fashion model. Stanley does that. Just kidding. Okay, geg, babe. I can joke with him because he's my son. Uh, that means clothing that you wear just because you want to look fancy, okay? Oh. Or uh, to fix up your monk's room, very fancy, you know? And demba uh, means, and then you use it that way. Okay. I mean, the, the still talking about leather or no? Uh, you might notice that these vastu sometimes they go off the subject. Okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, that reminds me. This sh it probably be done started. With, it probably started with fancy uh, boots, like uh, go-go girl boots uh, uh -huh. for monks, and then uh, and then uh, they probably got in trouble for wearing all kinds of things. Okay. Okay. It means to have fancy clothes or a fancy house. And I'll tell you, I mean, there's a problem nowadays in the monasteries, and I, I don't like it. And to be honest about it, uh, people own their house. Uh, and if a monk dies, they, they, they will it to somebody else. So the, the monastery nowadays is not owned by the monastery. And uh, they cannot put a monk in, in a room that they want to. Uh, the, the room is passed down by inheritance. So uh, it causes a lot of, it, it causes a lot of problems because people start to fix up their houses uh, oh. and they start to spend a lot of money on their, on their houses. And it becomes like a competition. Like there was, I, I got a high, uh, Rinpoche wrote me a letter demanding a lawnmower uh, <laughs> that I, I should bring a lawnmower from America. Uh, so. Fun. Because a lot more to cut the grass. Oh. The, the machine, I'm supposed to bring the machine to cut the grass from America uh, the next time I come for debating, you know. And uh, it gets out of hand, you know. And the, uh, the Tempter College, uh, Gu Mei, they have, they own, the monastery owns your room mm -hmm. and they require you to move every three months. Mm -hmm. uh, so you don't get attached to your room, you don't think you own it. Uh, so I think that's a good, uh, I think that's a good system for the monasteries. Okay. And that's what happened in old Tibet is that uh, the monastery started to own so many things that it became a problem. Okay. All right. Uh, number five. Chulham. Yeah. Chongham, Kyongpa Sok Tang. Yeah, what's this mean? You guys can suss this out. Not, not wearing shoes in front of your llama or teacher. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, so Chilham is a big uh, important word in this in this bus too. It probably refers to a leather shoe, but I think it could be any shoe, okay? even sandals. You're not supposed to wear shoes. Um, uh, in, when you go to, when you go to your teacher's room or something, you're supposed to take your shoes off uh, when you go inside. And this was true in the Bible. Uh, you know, you were supposed to take your shoes off and wash your feet before you came into the house. Uh, okay. uh, so here means not wear any shoes, not just sandals, right? Right. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, in, in in front of your teacher. I, I think it means inside their house or something like that. Okay. Uh -huh. Okay. Let's Stanley, let's do one more. Okay. Chula chap chalom. Rom. Chap rom. 
yeah. hợp lắm chắc hay you do đó Sha. Sha. The, the V is always silent. The V is always silent. Oh, Sha. It's just for spelling. Yeah, Sha. Sha. La. Cho. Chu. Ku. La. Cho. Ku. La. Cho. Ku. Sam. Chang. Ne. Jang. Lak. Tang. Jue. Se. Ma. Jack. Pa. Tang. Yeah, Sha. Say my shop and good. Chula chabram. Chabram means ice. Okay. Uh, chabram means yellow. Yellow. Uh, Chakba here doesn't mean desire. It means what? Perform. It form. into. Okay. Oh. This is a classic use of the verb chak. Uh, and it's interesting to think how it might be related to desire. But it means when ice comes on top of the lakes and the streams, okay? It means it's cold weather, okay? When there's ice uh, forming on top of the lakes or streams, it means it's cold outside, okay? In a country, uh, like I lived in New Jersey and, and the, the water freezes, the rivers freeze, the lakes freeze in the winter, or they used to, uh, okay? Uh, then uh, you're supposed to wear your sha lam. Uh, sha also means what? Ben sha. Uh, a, a deer? No, that's shawa. shawa. Oh, yeah. This means a hat. I mean, hat, hat, right? Yeah, like pendid, ben sha means a pundit hat. Okay, that big yellow hat. So here it means in very cold weather, Monks are allowed to wear wool, a wool cap or something to protect their head in bad, uh, in bad sunlight in, in, in the hot parts of India. You are, a, you are allowed to wear something on your head to protect your head. Uh, some, so you are allowed to wear a hat or you are allowed to wear a thumb trogu uh, chin, shoes with laces regular shoes with laces, okay? Uh, in the cold weather, when the ice uh, is forming, Changne. But, uh, and by the way, word, do you wanna, uh, but when there's no more Changhak, okay, say, okay, at the time when there's no more Changhak, you should put them away. Okay. Uh, Frost or something? Uh, what's luck mean? Extra, extra cold, yeah. extra. Luck, luck usually means extra, but what's uh, sakpa? Leftover. Leftovers. The extra. wind. The wind. Oh, right, of course. Right. Uh, so I don't know which one it is here. Okay, I think it might be the wind. Uh, or, it is. Or it yeah, is that good. is a word. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it could be either one. Okay, when it's not so cold, or uh, when it's not so cold and windy, uh, you should put those shoes away. Okay, and you, you shouldn't keep wearing that hat and the uh, shoes if you don't really need them. Okay, cool. Uh, so just to. Avoid the problem that people wear it for decoration? Uh, yeah, yeah. And then it gets more and more complicated. People oh. start wearing extra sweaters. They start wearing, you know, extra things, you know. And, uh, it gets messy. When they will go to the monastery kitchen, they start wearing stuff and like that. Uh, okay. Uh, who's checking you now? Who have I got here? Hey, venerable cutting. <laughs> In your past life, you kept all these. Come on. Dak tang kung la sok pe sok uh sok cha de mo chen tang chewa chen ki ko pa. 
I mean, there is a leopard around in Arizona, but I didn't know it came this far. Maybe uh, well, special, special or, leopard. Or it was his neighbor's cat, perhaps. Uh, oh, it was the coyote form of the leopard. <laughs> yeah, just a coyote. Went away. Oh, sorry. So anyway, he, he, came, he came by yesterday. Uh, <laughs> He didn't right. have a box that said Acme, did he? <laughs> <laughs> uh, tigers and and uh, leopards. Uh, Sokchak means living beings. Uh, living. Yeah, in the in the Diamond Cutter Sutra, it means a living being, and in ancient Sutra, it means a living being. But nowadays, it refers to a wild animal. To all animals. So oh. animals are called sokchak uh, nowadays. Nowadays, okay. What's dermo? We had it. Clog. Yeah, dermo means claws, like big claws. Okay. So uh, if there's a wild animal that has dangerous claws, okay, or chewa, dunstra, teeth, tusks. Teeth. Fangs, okay, fangs. Uh, it seems that it's Mirunga to Changba their Oh, you don't want to take their skin as leather? Inappropriate to wear their leather? Yeah, you're not allowed to wear the leather of an animal who has been particularly fierce and mean. And I guess the vibrations of their of their attitude is, is in the leather somehow or something like that. So you're not allowed to wear that kind of leather, okay? Um, you mean, mean the vibration of violence or something? Fear? Yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah. Gesha, <laughs> isn't uh, wearing the tiger skin? It's a like a a thing in 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 West China. Yeah, no, it is. It is a. It is a. There are. There is a tradition in the yoga. Uh, tradition that you could sit on a tiger skin and it would give you more power and uh, I, I I had a friend who believed in that and they <laughs> I, I was in India with them and they someone tried to sell us a, a tiger skin and uh, I said it looked like a lot like a dog skin uh, <laughs> and uh, anyway we paid a lot of money for it and then we found out at the airport that you're not allowed to take tiger skins out. Uh, oh, wow. And, uh, oh. Whoops. So, yeah, I think it's a bad custom. Personally, I think it's a bad custom. There was a custom among some kinds of yogis to sit on. And, and I heard someone explain it once that um, because they were living in caves, if they sat on a, wild, on a dangerous wild animal skin, then snakes and other animals would avoid the cave uh, because mm. they could smell they could smell the skin, you know. So I don't know. I don't, I don't think it's a good thing. Yeah, obviously it's not good to kill animals and live on, sit under. Right. I, I yeah. think you'd get negative power. Mm -hmm. All right, uh, and you get caught by customs. Okay, number eight. Tension, tension, too. You can figure this out, you guys. Grandpa will drink coffee. Oh, Den means a, a meditation. Some other Stanley. Yes, Den, Den means a, a, yeah, Stanley. Den means a meditation seat or a seat that you sit on. And um, not, not sitting on a seat of... Um, of leather if you have some other seat that you could sit on instead yeah your shindu what's the shindu word 
uh, or something of that like kind. While having. Part. Yeah, Nick like, got wow. it. While having. While, yeah, yeah. While having. It means if you have in your possession any other kind of seat, you shouldn't be using an animal skin. Okay. Uh, you mean particularly for meditation or for any uh, seat? Well, can, can also mean uh, in the monastery, it's also what you sleep on. So it could be either one. Yeah. Uh, I think especially for meditation, I think the feeling I get here is for sitting down in your room, you shouldn't sit on a, on a leather cushion. Uh, you should, if, if there's any other possibility, that's a Mayingat, right? Mm -hmm. yeah, that right. means you could, you could use it if you had to. Okay. Uh, okay. So uh, Keshe particularly means when you are meditating, or, or when you are sitting? Uh, personally, I would take it to mean a seat, you know. A seat. <laughs> Any kind of seat, yeah. <clears throat> okay. Uh, we could look up some commentaries, uh, but uh, there's not a lot of commentaries to this, to this Vastu presentation. It's kind of difficult to find uh, good commentaries. Okay, we just reached the next Vastu. We finished which one just now? Leather. Leather, leather. Yeah, about leather or leather shoes. Okay. So we must be on number eight. Mm. What's that one? Medicine? Yeah, medicine. And this menki uh, you will often see in Vinaya the expression menki shi, oshada vastu. Uh, the, the, the category on how to take medicine, because for one reason, uh, medicine can involve alcohol and also medicine can involve eating after noon. Okay, so let's go see Mengishi. Uh, who's checking? Oh, Venerable Cutting, can you keep going? Okay. Be Mengishi. Yeah, so don't forget Nyechi kind of means boo boos, small mistakes about uh, that occur in the section on medicine. Okay. Okay, let's keep going, Venerable Cutting. Let's keep going, shopping. Yeah, shopping. I have a suggestion. Let's let Cutting read two, two of these and you check her. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Tun so, durung, wei men dang, tang, ji di so chang, ji si. You don't like GC so Changi men nam jin gi rap good say ma lap good lap go say ma lap padang. Nice, nice, very good. Uh, okay, cutting and and shopping. What's jingi lap mean? Jingi lap, jingi lap to su. Please jingi lap me. Oh, bless me. Oh. Yeah, bless me. Good, bless. And uh, in Vinaya, uh, bless means a ceremony that you do when you have to do something unusual because you're sick or something. Okay. So, like if you have to keep sugar, in the brown sugar is often used as a medicine in India. So, it's a food also. So, you're not supposed to keep it in your house. You're not supposed to store it in your house. Okay. But if it's used as a medicine, uh, then you are allowed, okay? So, uh, this is like tundra uh, cutting. Yeah. What's the tun in tundra? Time, interlude, and session, yeah. Yeah, six sessions. So, su means measure like sema in sema, pramana. So, uh, for a limited time period, ruwe men, it's a medicine that you are allowed to use. Rungwa means proper. Okay, mm -hmm. so there are kinds of medicines like medicines made from 
uh, brown sugar and lemon, for example, for a cold. Uh, that kind of medicine, uh, you, you do have that kind of medicine in your monk's house. And you do have medicine, which is so important that you can keep it in your house. Ji si tso. Your whole life? Uh, yeah, your whole life, for as long as you live. Okay? Uh, like if you have a serious heart condition and you need that medicine mm. all the time, you can keep it in your house. Okay? This chang is the same as the chang we had for the shoes. Uh, you can keep it. Okay? You can keep it. But you must go what? Bless. Bless it. Yeah, you, bless means you do a small ceremony. Lord Buddha, please allow me to keep this me medicine in my house afternoon. Please allow me to take it afternoon. I know I'm not supposed to eat afternoon, but it's necessary for my health. And uh, good same means when you're supposed to bless it, but ma You don't bless it. You don't bless it. Yeah, if you fail to bless it, then you broke the first of the tiny rules for medicine, okay? Aww. Okay. All right, let's keep uh, cutting one more. You're going to read this one, please. Men kutang mik men lasok parangi ne sope se long pa polam wa wa polam jin pa tang. No, no polam. Lama. Oh, lama. Lama jiba. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So read okay. the words inside the brackets. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are grandpa's corrections to the book or to the typing sometimes. Uh, what's who are you guys? Juice or an extract? Yeah, it could mean juice, extract, semen. It means all those things. It means any kind of juice. Uh, menka means like a cough syrup or syrup, like a medicine syrup. Uh, what's a mikmen? Eye medicine? Eye, eye drops? <laughs> Yeah, how do you say medicine Buddha? Men la. Yeah, men la, or menki lama. Yeah, so men means medicine, right? Um, Mik men, la sopa. Uh, Rangi ne means some other um, monk has a ne. Sickness. Good. An illness. And oh. uh, they're trying to sopa, soa. Heal. Heal. Yeah, they're trying to get better, okay? And uh, uh, you, someone asks you for that medicine, okay? Long wa po. I think. Uh, and you don't give uh, it to uh, them. No, I'm sorry. I've got to read it a different way. You're taking uh, syrups, medicine syrups. You're taking eye drops to fix your own medical problem, okay? And then there comes a long wa po. Uh, an asker, a beggar. Someone comes and says, hey, can you share that with me? I also have the same problem. <clears throat> okay. So you're already using some kind of medicine. And somebody else says, hey, I got the same problem. Could you share that with me? And then if you majimba. No, you don't, don't give yeah, it. if you don't give it, you broke this one. What's the basic principle here? Uh, stuff. You need share, to share what you've got. <laughs> not really yours. The medicine's what? not going to work for you if you don't get yeah, it. Yeah, Udpala. Hundred dollar right. answer, Udpala. Hundred dollar yeah. answer. Okay, collect your money at the desk. Uh, <laughs> yeah, your medicine's not going to work if you don't get in the habit of sharing it. Okay, it's a beautiful. Uh, I like this rule. Yeah, I like this rule. That's how medicine works that's why aspen works right all right i'm somehow i'm seeing uta up on the screen here do you want to check uh shopping or would you like to try to read if you want to read nod your head <laughs> yes. oh look look she's nodding she's on the other side of the world so that means a nod i think okay. <laughs> please read uh shopping you want to check okay okay Go slow, take your time, relax. Urung ki man tang 
Wurung ma sin pe ma oh yin yin pe man re mar du matu matu ma yin par chet do se mm, kim pe mik nar chet badang yay not bad <laughs> uh what's turungi man do you guys remember mm, yeah the medicine that's taken at the correct appropriate time yeah medicine which is okay to take like afternoon but only under certain occasions like i don't know cold medicine in the winter okay and you can you can't take it forever not gc toy part you can't take it for the rest of your life you can only take it during certain seasons or or while you're very sick or so during a man means temporary use medicine okay mm -hmm. and then you've got during my uh you've got other kinds of medicine which you're not allowed to take anytime you want even for a short period okay so you've got medicine that you're allowed to take for a certain period then you've got medicine that doesn't have a period when you're when you're allowed to take it after after noon right uh and and then you damp on them uh, mix, dema. Up, mix them up yeah, yeah dema dema means mixed together okay you you've got both you got both pills in a bottle or something and everybody knows one of them is legal medicine for a monk or a nun and everybody knows the other one is not legal medicine for a monk or nun okay I don't know. What do you call that stuff? STD or huh? uh, no? STD no. or <laughs> unlikely. What's the marijuana thing? CBD. CBD. <laughs> CBD. Yeah. So let's say that you've got this mixture. Nowadays in America, people are taking uh, marijuana juice uh, for medicine, and uh, and in some places it's legal. So let's say you have legal medicines, and then you have medicines that monks and nuns are not supposed to use and you mix them up in the same bottle okay and then you take them at the do my in inappropriate time yeah at the wrong time like afternoon for example okay then the kimbas are gonna watch you uh -huh. a person nosy household yeah the lay people, yeah, the lay people, the people. are gonna see you if you do that, chippa, this is a very important word, uh, shopping. I'll give you 50 bucks for these four little words, twelve and a half dollars each. Mik na chippa. No helping word. Mik na chippa. A standard can help you. You mean the they person see you do it and they lose their face. Exactly, but I want each syllable. Oh. Meek means see. Yeah, meek means eyes, their eyes. What's na mean? Na mean. Uh, anyway, forget, cancel the bet. Uh, <laughs> na means in front of their eyes. Okay. Uh, chipa means to do it, do it, to do that activity. Okay in front of them in front of their eyesight in their eyesight okay and doesn't that apply to a lot of monks and nuns rules yes. there's lots of things you can't do in front of lay people okay and sponsors also. yeah and sponsors especially so uh <laughs> so we gotta uh you kind of gotta remember this if you're gonna translate vinaya you better have this this word is really important you can't do it in front of their eyes. Yeah, in their in their presence. Okay. All right. Uh, I'm seeing we got some other ordained people here. Venable Gelsey, are you there? No. Venable Cardin, are you translating? Cardin, ah, uh, you are. Venable uh, Chickmakes here. I'm here. Hey, Gelsey's here. Oh, 
Uh, let's do Gelthe. You ready? Sure. Thank you. Uh, okay, Xiaoping. Uh, Gelthe, you want to read? Whichever yeah. you want me to do. Okay, please read. Mikpa Chikpatang, Trenbu Dang, Misha Trenbu. Simbu. Simbu. Uh, R is silent. The R is silent after F. Yeah, Simbu. Simbu Tang, Misha Se We Sok Chak Tang. Good. Chen San Nam Ki Sha Tang, Saru We. Shayan Yang Rang La Mikne Luk Sok Separ. What is the A in the brand? Oh, I say what it is. Sorry. Separ. She Sam Tong Nam. Detar Topam. Topa Te Nam Sumatak. Pe Sha Nam Sopatang. Nice. Okay, good. Um, so this is about eating meat. This whole vow is about eating meat. Okay. And, uh, mikba means, uh, an uncloven hoof. Okay. Uh, like a horse's hoof is one piece, right? What's uh, the hoof? If the, the hoof is the hard part of the horse's foot oh, okay. on the bottom, it's called a hoof. And uh, there's two kinds of hoofs. Uh, some animals have a split hoof, like wild animals. Deer <laughs> has a split hoof. They have two, two hard parts and they are not connected. And then a, a horse, for example, has a hoof with one piece, right? Uh, I think cows also. Uh, so uh, Mikpa Chikpa, it seems to me to say, uh, animals that are not wild animals, okay? One hoof animals, okay? Mm. Uh, animals with one hoof. Uh, simbu means uh, worms, okay? Like, uh, and I think it might spread to snakes or things that look like worms or snakes, okay? Mm. Uh, then all the sokchaks, which sawa the misha, Eat, uh, eat animal, human anything flesh? that eats humans? Yeah, anything that likes to eat humans. Okay. Misha means human human uh, meat. Uh, sawe sokchak. And again, sokchak means what? Living being or yeah. wild animals. Wild animals? Yeah. Here it means sokchak means any animal, uh, oh. wild or domesticated. Uh, can, it, can it mean like bacteria and stuff too, Geshla? I mean, uh, we're supposed to not drink water that might have living, small living right. in it, but it's right. not a emphasis on this vow. Okay. Okay. Uh, sok, sok chak and Chen Sen here is wild animal. Okay, so Sok Chak is any animal. And Chen Sen means a wild animal. Okay. The flesh of wild animals. Uh, then uh, this is the big one here. Sarunga means it is appropriate to eat. Okay, meat, which is appropriate to eat. Uh, and the example in Vinaya is uh, you go from house to house with your bowl. Someone's eating meat. They put meat in your bowl. You're not allowed to not to to not eat it. Okay. Uh, you're not allowed to say, I want a vanilla ice cream, but I don't want chocolate ice cream. You know? You're not allowed to tell the person uh, what they put in your bowl. Okay? Personally, I would. <laughs> Personally, I wouldn't eat it. But um, anyway, traditionally, sarung sha means it is meat, which is okay to eat, generally. Mm -hmm. But rangla mikme, mikme means, mik means focus. And rang means, rang a mikne means it was done especially for you, okay? That someone knows that you are coming to their house to do prayers today, and they go get a luke. Sheep. A sheep, and they sepa. 
Which are kill it. <laughs> yeah, they kill it, especially for you. Rangla Migne means especially for you. Okay. Uh, now, if you say that that is the case, no, if you, if if you, you know aware. it, <laughs> or tongue, see it. Yeah, if you either know for sure or you saw the animal slaughtered, A, or B, you tupa. You heard it. Someone told you it was slaughtered for you, but you didn't see it yourself. Okay, uh, you, you're not sure, but this is called lungitsema. What's that, you guys? Uh, you know, oh. you have a valid perception based on yes. what source. Yeah, somebody you trust tells you, hey, that meat was killed just for you for today, for your lunch, okay? Or you topa that that might be the case. You have a suspicion. Yeah, topa means suspicion. Like you think you go to the house, there's blood on the, on the ground outside. <laughs> uh, the sheep meat tastes very fresh. And you think, wow, maybe they killed this for me, you know, okay? Uh, if you have any one of those three, then you should not eat that meat, okay? Huh. It becomes impure, okay? Madakbe shaman, okay? Uh, if you eat it, you broke your vows, okay? That's, That's how we're, uh, we're at time. Okay, so I, I, I don't understand. I mean, maybe you guys can do some research about the one hoof animals. I, I don't, maybe because they're used for milk or something, I don't know. Uh, I think they're historically, they weren't clean. Because, I mean, they could be they uh, were more easily contaminated. Yeah, could be that, could be that. So anyway, there's a very interesting, and a lot of uh, monks, when you talk about being vegetarian, uh, they'll, they'll quote this to you. And they'll say, well, if it's not killed for me specifically, it's, it's not so bad, you know. But in my opinion, uh, it, it is bad. And, and I did have a great debate with a very high Geshe one time. Mm. And I won the debate and I said, at least it is stolen goods. You know, mm. at least it's like uh, using a stolen car or something. It's like buying a stolen car. Okay, it's, it's, you didn't kill the animal, but you're eating stolen, something that's stolen, which is well, also bad. To I had this debate with some Geshe. I beat some Geshe. And, oh, there's a Mikpachik, okay? One, one hoof. Uh -huh. Okay. All right. They are the only living group of animals with just one toe. Okay, there you go. All right. Yeah, cows have cloven feet. Oh, they do? Okay. Uh, I, I don't, yeah, stop here. Pigs, yep, for pigs. sure. Pigs, not cows, I think. Yeah. yeah. I think it's when it's split in two. Yeah. Say again? I think a cloven hoof is when the hoof is split into two parts. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Okay. All right, you guys. There's yeah. your Maya for today. Thank you yeah. so much. Thank you. I expect a little bit extra homework next time. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we'll see you guys in how long, Nick? Eight minutes. Yeah, that's enough to have breakfast. Okay. Thank Enjoy. you. Enjoy. Thank you, Geshe.